Hello children. How are you? Good. Nice. Okay, come on. Starting today's lesson, I want to ask one question to all of you. Okay? Uh, you all give your answer very honestly. Do you enjoy study at home or in school or in your classroom? Tell me one honest answer. Okay, some are saying at home. Mhm. Mm and some are at school, classroom. Very good. Should I tell you about this? I'm enjoying taking your session, teaching you in your classroom. You know why? Because there I can see your smiling and glowing faces. Mm, really. But anyhow, we have to utilize our time every second fruitfully. So without wasting our time, come on, let's start today's lesson. Today we are going to learn about rounding of number for estimation. Okay. So in this video, you just learn the concept. Okay. This is about the introduction of the topic. This topic seems quite scary for some children, but I assure you, after seeing this introductory video, this topic will be quite interesting for you. Okay? Let us first understand the concept of rounding off. Before um, going deep, first we have to understand two terminologies, two main things about this concept. First is, Actual sum. What is actual sum? And other term is estimated sum. What is estimated sum? Do any one of you know about this? Hmm? Okay, I am explaining you. Actual sum is what? Exact sum. Exact quantity. Okay? And estimated sum is what? A guess or a judgment. If you will guess something about any quantity or if you will just uh, it ex estimated sum might be slightly less or slightly more. But actual sum is always exact sum. Okay. Uh, come on. I, I, I just going to ask some question about this uh, concept about the actual sum. You all will give your answer very honestly. Okay. Uh, it's very tough questions. Okay. How many fingers are in your hand? Uh -huh. It's quite easy. Uh, my mom is kidding, no? It's okay. Sometimes teachers also have right to kidding, no? How many fingers you all have? Five fingers, right. One more very tough question. You all are ready? Okay. So, get it. Go. How many eyes do you have? Uh -huh. Again, quite easy, no? Two. We all have two eyes. Okay? So, this is exit. Neither less nor more. If somebody will ask you, how many fingers in your hand? Exactly five fingers. Okay? Might be some have six in very rare cases. But, okay? Now, next. Ready for the next question? Now, in this, you have to just guess or you have to just make a judgment. Okay, ready? How many marbles are in my hand? Nobody will start counting. Okay? You have to just guess. Around 20 marbles. Okay. Might be around 20 means might be slightly less or more. Okay? Now, how many marbles are in this small bowl? Yes, guess. Very good. More answers. Very good. So, around 50. Who is very close to this answer? Okay, so just, just uh, give thumbs up to yourself, okay? Now, one more question. How many marbles in this big dish? Yes, guess, guess. Around 1000 marbles? It's a guess, okay? So, how we will guess this? As per the size. While we are keeping our palm in hand, we can keep less marbles. In a small bowl, slightly more. And a big dish, more. So, judgment, how we will make judgment? As per the size. Okay. Now, before, uh, while we are learning the rules, before this, we have to know about application of any concept. 
I am giving you this uh, thing because not only in maths beta, but if any subject, whenever you start any new topic, always first find out its application. Okay, how you can apply those concepts in your daily life. Okay, not only in maths, even even in science, social science, English, Hindi, in any subject. But if you will uh, understand that 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 concept as per their application, you will never forget. Okay, uh, so where we can apply this concept? Money. Why we are talking about money? Okay, so this uh, cutie uh, cat, uh, he, uh, she uh, she kept some money, na. So we can guess ke how much money she is uh, keeping with us. Okay. Next, we can uh, uh, we can use this concept um, uh, while we are talking about the distance or length. For example, uh, how what is the distance uh, of your school from your home, or or what is the distance of your uh, garden where you are playing from your home? So we can say around two kilometers or around one kilometers. We are we are never try to uh, tell the exact distance. Okay, and some more application height. While you are measuring your height, you can say 4.6 inches. We will not say 4.62 inches, okay, or 5 inches, 5.4 inches, 5.4003 inches. Not we are not telling like this, no. So we can use this concept in money, in length, or while we are measuring. These are the correct way we are we can use, okay. Or we can use this concept in measuring mass or weight, okay. While you are measuring your weight, hmm. So. 46 kg. Some some are saying 46 kg. We are never used to say 46.2 kg. Okay. So rounding, we will round it and we will say just uh, round figure, estimated figure that is 46 kg. While you are measuring the weight of fruits also. Okay. And um, in capacity and volume, while we are may just uh, taking any liquid, any juice. So in this also we can. Use this concept. Okay, these are the way we are. You can use. Okay, now we will never apply this concept here. This also you have to know. कि हमें ये apply कहाँ नहीं करना है. बिल्कुल नहीं करना है. So we are. We will never apply while we are calculating date. Okay, let us suppose कि uh, your birthday is 29th of March and you invite your friends for birthday party. And your friends will round off this to the nearest ten. It will come to thirty. So if they will join you at thirty of June or thirty of whatever the month, uh, uh, do they attend your party? No. So we will never uh, apply this concept over the dates. For example, you are going to your nani dadi house, okay? And the, your train train schedule is or your flight schedule is twenty eighth, twenty eighth of uh, June, okay? And you will reach there, airport at 30th June. So, do you may do you catch your flight? No. So the same way, we will never apply this to on time. For example, your school timing is 9:45, and you will round off to the nearest hour. So your time will, and whenever you will go to your school at 10 a.m., so you will be late, and your teacher will not allow you in your class. Even sometimes I will allow you. Don't worry. Okay, tell you. So uh, here we will never use this concept. Getting now, what about rounding off in mass? Do we judge or we will guess? Hmm? What do you think? In uh, while we are doing the rounding of numbers in mathematics, we all, we only judge and uh, tell the answers. No, in mathematics. We have some rules of rounding off, okay? And we will learn. We have to know those rules, and we will learn those rules, okay? So in my next uh, video, I will show you what are the rules for rounding off, and then what you have to do. What you have to do, you will also always follow those rules while you are doing rounding off, okay? Thumbs up. All are agree. Very good. So, let us uh, revise about this session. 
where we will never apply this uh, where we will apply we will, where we can apply this we can apply in money we can apply in length and desert, distance we can apply in measuring weight and mass we can apply in capacity and volume here you can apply and where we can't apply this concept in calculating date and calculating time so these things you always keep in your mind okay now let's some homework uh usma mam is giving homework introduction also yes i am giving you homework because i know my children are very attentive and they will follow my instruction always okay dear so very simple you have to just revise this lesson thoroughly again and again to getting the concept very clearly and one more question for you one more task for you find out three different condition around you where you can use this rounding off or estimation concept okay getting first what you have to do you have to revise this lesson thoroughly at least one or two times okay with this uh, video and then after completing this you just give this mobile to your mom and you will never not use this again okay now second task what you have to do find out three different condition where you can use rounding off or estimation concept getting till then uh, goodbye and have a nice day uh, i will send soon i will send you one more uh, video about uh, the rules which we will follow for the rounding off okay then bye have a nice day